In the wake of the recent vehicle emissions scandal, um, I took the opportunity to look up the London Clean Air Act from 1956 and found some interesting facts there. It was actually a reaction on the London smog event in 1952 and it took four years to get this London Clean Air Act through against all the lobbying. There were two minor um, roadblockers. One was, uh, there was the opinion if you do anything to the coal industry, it would have um, an immense negative effect on the economy. Second, if you replace your nice uh, coal burner at home by a gas one, you have a high probability of getting poisoned by gas. Both uh, quite funny uh, arguments looking back now. We are now facing a time where we may have seen something equivalent to the London Clean Air Act and even rather something global, where we will become aware of the local effect of vehicle emissions on our health, which is beyond the CO2 emissions that affect the climate. And if we think of how such a transition should work and at the same time have economic benefits, one should uh, do the following. One should um, start introducing uh, clean electric vehicles where the impact is highest. That would be um, starting at uh, buses. Bus stops are currently the most um, uh, exposed um, places in inner cities when it comes to local emissions. So hybridizing those buses is a good idea. Taking battery electric buses would be even better because you can then charge them at times of cheapest and cleanest electricity. The second fleet to look at would be all other vehicles that are constantly on the roads. And these would be taxis and goods delivery vehicles. So um, with those um, two fleets, you would get enough critical mass together to further boost the electric vehicle market and that, uh, and that way get the whole technology cheaper and in the end being able to create zero emission zones uh, in inner cities that would then even include uh, private vehicles because by that time in like 10 years from now they would be as affordable as any other vehicles. And that would bring us into the situation where we could drive without the constant fear of uh, poisoning either the planet or uh, our school children. And second, we would see uh, chances for a completely new industry, which would not only include producing new high technology cars, but also rolling out local infrastructure, which helps to create local jobs.